Welcome to Uncle Explores. Today I'm riding with some friends and uh, we're going to go out into the country just near Azerbaijan. But our first stop is the Tbilisi Automobile Museum, which is about eight kilometers out of town. It'll take you about 15 minutes. You can bring a taxi. So there's over 50 cars in this collection and 90% of the cars are actually Russian. Some of it is Russian KGB, which I'll show you later. But it's well worth the trip. And uh, I recommend that if you're in Tbilisi, you come and have a look. Entrance is 10 lorry, and uh, that will give you a guided tour as well. So yes, welcome to Uncle Explores. So this is inside the automobile hall. And you see there's quite a few number of cars. These are all Russian-made cars. 968. And what's quite interesting, this little car here looked like that when it first started. This is um, just after the war um, car. This is like a Rolls Royce of the Russian cars. So these two cars would have been for Russian government. Uh, Boris Yeltsin, I believe, had a car similar to this, but a bit uh, uh, better inside. If it's a Guz, it's the middle management would have used these cars uh, in the old Soviet Union uh, government. Just a note, though, with these two cars. As I said, they're government cars, so the man in the street uh, wouldn't be able to purchase these cars. It's only for government and senior government officials. Model A, um, Ford Model A, and unbeknown to the owner when he bought it, this uh, car was actually used in the movie Bonnie and Clyde. It's the original, absolutely in mint, beautiful condition. Okay, so we're going to the next hall. There's some cars outside. I mean, that's a Russian taxi, I think. There's cars outside, and this is now motorbikes and military equipment. Ah. Okay, so this is an original BMW, but the, yes. the Soviet Union copied it. Yes, so these these Russian um, Jeep. Gas so these, 67. it's a car, Russian Jeep. Yes, car copy, American car for Jeep wheelies. Nice. About the logo, no thing made how made in Ford, but you don't write Ford. Write car's name Molotov, and so it symbols also stay. But Molotov is the general Molotov. Uh, the, uh, Molotov in this period was Soviet car industries minister. Uh, okay. Another, uh, he say Soviet foreign minister. Sure. This one, so this is an interesting one, it's called a Luas, and it's actually an amphibian, it can go on, on water. Also a military uh, craft. So that's the Auto Museum in Tbilisi, and uh, the next stop we're going to go to is David Garidji Monastery.
last we are at David Garija Monastery and uh, in my mind's eye it was slightly different I thought it was on the other side of the hill but it's actually this side so basically the top of the hill there on that side is Azerbaijan and this is Georgia so let's go up and have a look so the monastery is in the Kacheti and as I said earlier when we were on the bike this is quite a harsh environment it's really like a desert environment and this was the center of religion way back in the 6th century a lot of these places were built into the mountainside for protection as I always say the Mongols the uh, Arabs the Turks were continuously fighting um, with the Georgians and whenever they took over they lived in the mountains and uh, they started kind of guerrilla warfare for want of a better word there we go Ah, looks like this is where the church is. This is the church courtyard. As I say, this is the monks' sleeping quarters that are built into the mountainside. Fortification, and on through the door there you can see quite a cliff. So like all these places, they're built into the mountains for protection. Okay, let's have a look. 